In this video, we will cover how Jitterbit enables integration between service Mac service application that's deployed on force.com platform uh, with the dispatching and scheduling application deployed on Amazon Web Services. For this demonstration, what we will do first is we will go ahead and actually create a work order in Service Max. And upon saving that work order, we can actually go ahead and automatically create a job within dispatch and scheduling mechanism of Service Max on AWS. We will go ahead and actually schedule a job for a specific technician within uh, dispatch and scheduling. And as soon as that event is created or that job is actually scheduled, we're going to go ahead and update the work order uh, within Service Max on Force.com and also create an activity for the technician that this work order was assigned to. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to first start our process by creating a brand new work order. So I'm just going to pick some of uh, some values that, uh, including account, contact. Uh, let's make this a field service. Let's pick one of our sites and one of our products. Let's say X-ray machine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter some information about the service location. And let's say this is in San Mateo. California. Uh, we're going to also enter a preferred start time. And let me go ahead and save this work order. So now we have work order 51 created in Service Max. Now let's go to our Service Max interface for scheduling. I'm just going to go ahead and log in as, as a dispatch who does schedules and navigate to our field services and we can also look at our jobs. If I go ahead and sort by update, notice that 1235, which is the current time, this is real-time integration where a job was created within Service Max IO's dispatch system. And you know we, we know the account and you know the status is new. And now let's navigate to our dispatch console and let's go ahead and search for ID 582. And here we go. That's our that's our job. And I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, schedule this on Benjamin's calendar. So let's just put it, let's say, at 8.30 p.m. And we're going to save. So that is processed. If we go back to our job and refresh, notice now we have an event created with in service Mac dispatch uh, for this specific job. All right, now if we go back to service Max and refresh our work order, which was work order 51, and scroll down. Notice we've assigned a technician in real time. And we have also put the schedule date. If you recall, the schedule date time was 8.30 PM. And now the status has also changed to being scheduled. What we've also done in the process is to create an activity for Benjamin, so that, that way he gets notified that this job is scheduled for him. So notice that uh, we have the job information of the, as part of the subject of the activity. Uh, when the due date is and who it's assigned to. And he will tell you what the start and end, end time is. So this is bi-directional integration from Service Max sitting on Force.com platform with the Service Max dispatch uh, scheduling system uh, within uh, ServiceMax.io. So now let's take a quick look on how this uh, integration was actually made possible. This is Jitterbit Design Studio. This is where all the integrations are designed and deployed to our cloud, cloud environment. Uh, I will pick one of the integrations that we created, one, the one specifically that took the scheduling information that was done on service 
servicemax.io, uh, the dispatching and scheduling system, and had it actually update uh, an existing work order within ServiceMax. So this is pretty much a three-step process because we're doing three things. First, we're reading the information from the event of uh, within ServiceMax.io, uh, which is the scheduling and dispatching. Next, we're going to go and update the work order. So if you notice, when we had the um, technician assigned, the scheduled date and time updated within the order. And the third part was actually creating an event in ServiceMax to make sure that the technician is notified and it appears on their calendar. So the third step was to actually uh, create an activity. Um, so we're doing things such as making the appropriate uh, API call to get the schedule and then we're using our Salesforce connector to actually update Salesforce and then based on success we want to be also uh, create an activity. Now notice that this operation has only on success. We could very well create on failure process as well. And this is as simple as right clicking on each operation and deciding when something fails or something goes wrong what action do you want to take? Do you want to send an email notification or do you want to completely set off a different operation and set of uh, different paths that you want to go? So this is a very quick overview of how quickly you can integrate ServiceMax sitting on Force.com platform with ServiceMax's dispatch and scheduling system, uh, which is outside of Force.com. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.